G'day guys. If you've been playing roulette for a little while, I'm sure you've come across some flat betting schemes as well as some progressive ones. Well, I've been doing my research into these strategies and I've devised a completely new one that takes the high probability of flat betting systems like the Romanovsky and combines it with the progressive betting schemes like the Martingale. There are a couple different tweaks I've made in order to make the Martingale more effective for this system, but I'll show you that when we get into the betting. First though, I do have to mention that this video is strictly for education purposes only. I do not condone any betting or gambling and if you do choose to gamble please do so responsibly. Alright before we get into the strategy I want to show you a little bit of the maths behind it because I think it'll help you understand just a little bit better. Basically you can see each progression here and you can see the bets that we put. So as we go down our progressions you can see that the bets are doubling each time which is you know what you would expect of a typical martingale. The only thing though is that there's a little bit of intricacy there, um, but I'll explain that once we actually get to the betting phase. Uh, you can see that when we do win, we have a 48.6% probability of winning one unit and a 32.4% probability of winning two units. This continues to go down, you know, because in order to win these win these progressive bets we first have to lose so our odds of winning these go down but the chances of us actually getting to the end of all these progressions and losing every single bet in a row is only 0.1 percent so the chance of losing a total of 94 units here in four bets in a row is only going to happen one in a thousand times. So I hope I hope that helps you understand why this strategy works the way that it does. All right, so I'm gonna show you how you actually place the bets. So you can see I've got $100 here, which according to our table is enough bankroll to start. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place four units on this one to 18 here, and then I'm gonna place one unit on three corners in this top 18 here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna spin. So we'll see how we go. So we actually won one of those corners. Now, anytime one of these corner bets hit, we actually win a profit of two units. So for me, that's $2. So we're gonna rebet and go again. Now, if any in that bottom 18 hit, we make a profit of one, one unit. So here we go, look, we bet seven and we get a profit of eight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just keep rebetting like this and just, just keep reaping the profits until we actually lose. So there we go, there's another $1. And we rebet again and go again. And you can see why this is sort of similar to the Romanovsky. I call this the triple Romanovsky because instead of doing, you know, the two columns and then two corner bets, um, we're doing three corner bets and then just going on the half. Um, and it actually just requires a little bit less capital than what the Romanovsky does in order to start. Um, because if you know, if you're doing the Romanovsky, you need one there, one there, and then th is it three units on each column or something? So instead of just using seven units, you need a couple more units. But you can see we're just, you know, we're just reaping the cash. We just keep rolling it in. We're up seven bucks. So really with a system like this, you should be aiming to maybe get 50% of your original bankroll. Uh, if you can double it, that's incredible. Definitely walk if you manage to double it. Um, but, you know, if you can get 50%, so for me, 50 bucks, I'd be super happy with 50 bucks. But um, it's, it's all, you know, sort of personal preference. Here we go. We're still going. Now we're up $3. So even if we lost here, we wouldn't even be biting into our profits. So here, I think, is our first loss. Yes, it is. So what happens on a loss is we're actually going to double our bet, which is, you know, sort of what you'd expect from a martingale system. So we're going to rebet and double. And now the difference is, though, we don't just need to win once. What we're going to try and do is we're actually going to try and win three times in a row. So that's our first win. And the thing is, with an 81% table coverage, your chances of winning three times in a row is actually just a little bit over half. So most of the time, you'll actually recover most of your balance back on a loss. So that was our first win. So we'll go again. Beautiful, that's the second. Really, we're hoping for the corner bets to win because we win a bit more profit. Um, but, you know, if they don't, a win's still a win. You can't complain either way. So there's another one. That's our third win in a row. After the third win in a row, what we're going to do is we're just going to not rebet. We're going to go back to our original bet. So I'm going to go back down to our, not on the column, sorry. Four there, and then one, two, three. 
and we go back to this and we just keep spinning so hopefully if we win again which i think we do i think that was our column i think yeah there it was beautiful it, it annoys me that this this game here removes the chips but it's it's probably the cleanest version of um european roulette that i've found uh that's that's the other thing i needed to mention is that make sure you do this on a european roulette table not an american one because if you're on an american they'll have these extra zeros there and that means you just you know it not quite doubling your chance for a loss but you're adding an extra space that you can lose on for no added benefit it's not it's just not worth playing on an american table so if you can't find a european table um you know i can recommend online casinos that's why i play online uh they only offer american at my casino in where i live and i honestly i don't really want to play american i mean if if i'm going to be spending money i want to play the type of the type of casino game that i want to play so here i can play in the comfort of my own home um, and it's a lot easier to show you guys while i'm playing so you can see i'm just redoing these spins over and over and over again in the background here and it's just win after win after win after win so i hope it's it does take a while it definitely does take a while because you know this isn't a quick system where you double your money each spin but if you can make two bucks, two bucks, two bucks, a dollar, two bucks, and especially if you've, you know, if you've got more capital, if you were using ten times the amount of money for this, instead of winning two dollars, one dollar, two dollar, you'd be winning, you know, ten dollars, twenty dollars, ten dollars. So it's, you know, all up to you, what your risk profile is, how much, how much you want to actually gain from this system. You can double and just, you know, if you really just want to start pushing it, get a couple lucky ones, then you can double it and then just, you know, make your one unit bet a two unit bet, but then, you know, reset that to a one unit. So basically, you know, basically in double your bet as, as what's to one unit. Sorry, that's probably a bit confusing to understand. The amount of units and bets and spins and the terminology when you start getting into it is actually really confusing, especially then when you swap between games like Baccarat and Roulette and Blackjack and, you know, they're called hands here, they're called spins there. Like, it's it, it does get pretty confusing, especially while I'm trying to focus on the numbers in the background and make sure that I'm playing correctly. But... You can see we're already up 30 bucks. Already up 30 bucks. We get another loss though. So that's okay. So this will let me show you. So we double and we go again. We go again. Let's see how we go. Boom. First win. All right. We go again. So now the thing is as well that I was meant to, meant to mention is that if we lose during this period where we're trying to get three spins in a row, all that we so here's a good example we don't double again it's only if we lose consecutive times in a row that we double so if we lose the first time we double if we then lose instantly the second time which we didn't do here because we won one spin before this then we double again if we lose after we've won one of our three spins already all we do is instead of now winning three spins in a row well not in a row three spins we now want to win five spins and every time we lose we just keep adding two so if we were to lose in this five spins then we add, need to win seven spins so i've lost one so i'm now aiming for five spins i've won one so it means i need four more so that's another win that means i need three more wins and essentially what this will do is this will help you recover your balance much quicker without having to just unnecessarily double your bet you know too many times and eventually running out of capital this way you can keep playing keep getting the money back and just you know stay in the game that that little bit longer because the longer we're in that means the more hands we can play and with an 81 percent table coverage that means the more we will win so that's the fourth win so we just need one more win now so i'm gonna bet again and that is another win beautiful so you can see now we're back up we're still down a couple dollars but we're essentially back to the point that we were originally at so now we're going to go back to that one unit bet once again so one two three four there we go so we sit here and just keep churning out the wins again another dollar and do another one and we just keep doing this so i hope i hope this is you know sort of you know helped you guys out a bit and hopefully that you can 
use it to your advantage because uh, you know I've managed to use it to my advantage um, and all all tides what is it what's the saying that's um, all ri- a rising tide raises all ships that's the saying that's the saying there's no there's no disadvantage to me sharing this strategy with you guys hopefully you guys can use it to take some of the money back from the casinos because I know for a fact they've definitely taken more than their fair share of mine but that's gambling for you that's that's the games we play and we choose to do it to ourselves so but at the moment you can see I just you know this strategy on average will give you a return and I'm nearing my cutoff point I'm nearing that average that I want to win because I want to get $150 total that's that's my goal and make sure that whenever you do sit down and start playing you have a goal that you're aiming for because if you don't you're just going to keep playing until you lose you get you're going to get greedy you're going to get you know tired and you're going to get just bored so you're going to start making selfish bets stupid bets and that's that's for me is when i lose all of my money is when i get bored and then just start going ah you know stuff it so we got another loss here that's fine we double we're doubling and going again so we need the three wins in a row we'll see that's the first win especially on the corner very handy i'm happy with that so double again and we get the zero so that means we add two so now we need five wins we've got one win so we need four more so we just keep the same bet and go again one that's it so then we need three more bets two come on come on come on beautiful beautiful we go again and Pretty sure that was us yeah yeah that's us yep beautiful we go again so i think we need two more one more because that one's a win and boom that is our third win oh sorry our fifth win so happy with that once again we go back to our original bet go back to those three corners and we go from there and we just keep breaking it in so you can see at this point I am now $20 up and I have been consistently up this entire period I could have walked away at any point and still been up you know even if I were to lose this I would still walk away a winner so there we go lost again this is a good example double and go again win three in a row boom one and we bet again Oh, we lose again. So that means we need F5. So we reset and spin. That is another loss. So now we need seven. That's fine. So we go again. So I'll show you, I'll show you the efficacy of this strategy because it really does work great when you get to these. So now we need five. Let's go. And now we need another seven. That's fine. And because the advantage is now we've got our bets up, we can recover these losses more easily. That's why we avoid doubling. So now we need six. Because if we were doubling, we would start to lose our money. Okay, now we need nine. That's fine. That's fine because, you know, this this will really let me show you. Because if we were to double, we would have ran out already. So now we need eight. And... There we go, seven. Go again. Six. And you can see this balance is starting to go back up because we're winning, you know, double as much as we were winning before. That five more. And four more. Come on, come on. Three more. Two more. Come on, just two more. Two more. One more.
There we go. Now, unfortunately, because we hit so many on that last 18, we didn't actually get most of our profits back. So at this point, it's it's really up to you. You could and should go back to the strategy because you saw us, you know, manage to get up thirty dollars quite quickly, quite easily. And at that point, you know, we can get continue that growth. But what would have been a loss on the Martingale strategy, where we would have had to keep doubling, or what would have been a loss on any other strategy with a strategy like this, has actually managed to bring us back to the point where we can continue playing. So had we been a little bit luckier, we would have hit more of these corners, which would have increased our bet because, on average, we do win a little bit more than you know the two unit profit. So I'm just going to do another one here and hopefully we'll hit the corners. Hopefully it'll let me show you guys. Unfortunately we don't. But if you guys, you know, were a little bit luckier than I am, you would have hit more corners, which would have put you back up to your $100 quite easily. You know what I mean? So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you've learned something and I hope you guys find it useful. If you do, if you do go, sorry, if you do use it, be sure to let me know how you go and be sure to let me know what your kind of profits are. Other than that, I wish you guys the best of luck. If you're still here watching to the very end, you're my favorite type of person. So make sure you smash that like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the future. Cheers.